Good morning. How are you today? Well, the sunlight is brilliant here in Virginia today, <laughs> even as darkness clo cloaks the Capitol. Uh, all of us uncertain that the president really has the coronavirus, and if he does, uh, is it severe or not? And how could it not be serious at his age? And how could it not be serious if they took him to Walter Reed, unless that was a political show for us, sort of like Cadet Bone Spur, avoiding service, knowing that he's losing this election, trying to buy himself extra time by, what, some kind of sympathy when he's shown nothing to the people that he helped infect across the country by his indifference, his bad advice, and by promoting cures that don't work, one of which uh, may be administered to him right now at Walter Reed Hospital. Trump is a special case because uh, yesterday we heard heard this fawning coverage of him step by step going from the White House to Walter Reed. I had no sympathy for it. I know from communication with many of you on Twitter that you had no sympathy either, and that's quite understandable. Here's a man who ran around uh, encouraging people to take risks that ultimately ended in death for 200,000 people and millions of infections which caused all sorts of untold damage, perhaps down the road, because of the effects that we find uh, the, the disease has on the heart. Trump went to the debate knowing that <clears throat> he had the coronavirus and risked infecting others, just as his family did, who came in and didn't wear a mask. At the several events, there were these super spreader possibilities in which Distancing wasn't respected, masks weren't worn. And so COVID-19 has now jumped from the people to the leaders, including those in the Republican Party, including two on the Judiciary Committee who are Republicans, who are supposed to consider the nomination of Judge Barrett. So that's our setting. How does some of this play out? Well, uh, is the election going to be delayed? No. If... Uh, the president can't go forward, the Republicans will have to choose a substitute. Uh, two, what about the debates? Well, I don't think they should have ever happened. Trump has indicated he won't agree to the rules they want in place, so they shouldn't happen. What about the campaign ads? Well, Trump hasn't backed off his campaigns, campaign ads. Biden is supposedly uh, backing off his campaign ads that contrast him with uh, Trump. Well, uh, I wouldn't do that because a whole variety of reasons we all know about. Uh, but here's the thing. His primary issue is the mishandling and indifference and pain suffered by not having a plan by Trump for the coronavirus. And he's continuing to talk about that. So implicitly, he is leaving on the table an issue uh, it's not a slander, it's the truth, and it's proven every day that Trump follows this uh, scenario of uh, being ill, which may be true and may not be true. We'll find out in the days ahead. The, uh, the other thing is uh, we still have these claims of violence that are going to happen if you go voting. You know, beware, I'm sending people to the polls and so forth. Well, every state has a rule about... Uh, poll watchers. And that is to say, uh, a representative from each party is allowed to be present. They're not allowed to interfere. If uh, they have a list that reflects somebody's moved or voted twice or something, they can bring it to the attention of the Board of Election. They can't themselves do anything, and they're supposed to be uh, like little church mice in a corner. Uh, so Trump is suggesting something differently. So those people are not going into the polls, and they're not intimidating anybody. Number two, outside the polls, you are allowed to electioneer, but you have to do it at a distance from it. If outside the polling places they are threatening and intimidating people, these are violations of both state and criminal law and should be prosecuted for it. Finally, if you want a self-help version of how to deal with this, if you vote early, they can't be there all the time if they're there at all. Out here where I am walking in the woods, I have neighbors who are shooting guns, preparing for what, the revolution? Uh, I don't know what they will do because they've had pretty sorry turnouts in the past. And the stronger uh, the campaign for Biden is, uh, the less likely any of these uh, 
I know the the sky is falling scenarios will come true. So it's up to us to have the resolve to keep this election on the level and to communicate that. I have my wonders if uh, Trump will get the judge on the Supreme Court so she can vote on his election challenge. But the best way to avoid any election challenge is to kick his ass on election day, presuming he's still in the race, win the election, uh, and uh, after several days of counting ballots, I think we'll do that because Biden gets stronger every day. So, confusion to our enemies. See you tomorrow on the trail. Bye-bye.